you guys it's Celia and I'm back with another video so I have already washed and conditioned my hair using my goddess curls lush moisturizing shampoo and conditioner of course so if you haven't checked out my brand or tried any of my products definitely check the description box and the comments below for the website but this video is not about my hair products it is about the do I will be doing a battle with their big papa defining gel and their B girl honey curl custard i did already do a video comparing their mousses so i will link that down below if you missed it but this big papa defining gel is made with babasso seed oil and keratin and it's meant to define your curls without crunch or flaking and then the b girl honey curl custard is made with honey aloe vitamins bce keratin and silk amino acids and it's supposed to do the same thing define without crunch or flakiness so yeah i'm going to use these one um gel on each side and compare so I will be using my Divine Hair Elixir on my scalp, just working in sections as I go along with this wash and go, and I will use some of my Enchanting Moisture Cream. But opening up the lid of the custard, you can see it has a snotty consistency. Um, I will say I wasn't a fan of the smell. The honey foam they have smelled literally just like honey smells so good, but this to me smells like sour honey. I was not a fan of it, so yeah. But I'm just going to prep my hair, of course, wet it on down with water each of the of the gels and custard say to work on wet hair then i'm going to detangle make sure it's you know nice and smooth and for this back section of my hair on each side i'm going to use my enchanting moisture cream underneath just so i can compare so this section and the next section you see on top i will be using my enchanting cream and then from the ear up I will not be using it and again on both sides I wanted to see how these gels and custards would work on their own and with the cream because if you guys watched my foam video y'all know that I didn't use anything underneath and my hair was hard and dry so we're gonna see if we can like you know tell a difference but now that my hair is all moisturized let's get into this custard So, the first thing I notice about this custard is you have to make sure you grab it into your hand and it's not still, still stuck to um, the rest of the custard or else like it's just going to stretch and like kind of get on you. So that's the first thing I noticed but as far as moisture goes, it definitely did soften my hair, give it a really nice shine. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed but I have had to keep reaching for my spray bottle to wet my section over and over. I did feel like the custard was like sucking up the water and it would feel a bit rubbery which I didn't like so to combat that I would just have to keep making sure I sprayed my hair with water so I do feel like you would definitely want to work on dripping wet hair not damp not wet like dripping wet to avoid having to keep doing that but this is what the curls look like after just two scoops of the custard not bad but not what i want so i did go in with a bit more of the custard that's another thing i noticed i did have to use a lot of the custard especially compared to the gel which you guys will see in a bit but once i added um more of the custard it definitely started to look the way i wanted it to but um yeah this is what it's looking like and it definitely looks good like it was separated it was defined but i need that extra definition okay there was still some frizzy areas if i were to just leave it like this and for some people this would have been just fine but y'all know how i am i'm very particular about my curls so there is a difference once i went in to like actually define and shingle each of the curls so i will just be going forward be shingling of course and once i shingled i love the definition the shine the moisture it was definitely looking good so i am just going to continue and fast forward through this process i will say this side of my hair took 45 minutes to shingle and the gel side only took 30 and i definitely think that has to do with the fact that i had to keep going in to use my spray bottle to make sure my hair was wet um and then i also had to use a lot more of the custard compared to 
the um gel so 15 minutes in my opinion is significant so yeah So this is the um, custard side completely shingled. I'm just going to give you guys a spin around just because I like to show you the wet hair and the dry hair. Um, but now let's go on to the defining gel side. All right, now, so the Big Papa gel smells just like the most stuff mousse. Smells really good and fruity. So I'm, again, still going to use my Enchanting Moisture Cream on the back half of this section. The top half, just like the other side, does not have any cream. So... Once my hair is nice and moisturized, we're just going to go on to the gel and it has the same consistency as any other gel. So yeah, nothing new when it comes to that, but putting it on my hair, this also felt super um, good and softening. Honestly, it felt a little, I like the feel of this a little bit better than the custard, um, but they are both softening. Um, it's just the feel of this because it's so lightweight I don't know it just feels really good I know that sounds weird but yeah so I'm just working this in and after two um use or two little scoops of the gel just like I did on the custard this is what the curls are looking like so it actually had a bit more um definition after two scoops and that just goes to what I learned using this you do not need a lot of this to get curl definition compared to the custard I had to use a lot more so literally after I used those two scoops I just went on to shingle um, I did like how it looked just raking it through it did have nice curl definition if you're someone who doesn't shingle but I like to shingle so I'm just going to fast forward through this side um, but so far so good I love the fact that it's very quick and easy to use I don't have to keep spraying my hair down with water um, I don't have to use a ton of it So this is what the gel side was looking like and I definitely was loving the definition on both sides. Um, I will say the custard side, which you guys will see in a second, was actually pretty darn dry. Like it dried super fast, just like how the honey mousse did. So I don't know what's in these products, but they dry super fast. Um, but yeah. I just went ahead and started to diffuse and I focused mainly on the gel side because it was much wetter um, obviously because I had just finished it but also I think it would have taken longer to dry anyways because it just felt more wet compared to the custard which I told you it felt like it was sucking up the water but anyways yeah I'm just gonna let it um, dry with my diffuser and then we'll come back So this is my hair completely dried. I am going to go in with some oil and scrunch my hair because my hair was hard as heck on the custard side. The custard was literally a level 10 hold when it comes to crunch. Um, the gel side, it had a cast, but I would rank it like a level five. Like it wasn't bad, but it wasn't non-existent if that makes any type of sense. Um, so I mainly focused it on this side, but they both did have, you know, a cast, which is fine with me. You just scrunch it. So after scrunching it as much as I could, I started to notice that the custard side was flaking. Um, it was, you couldn't see it on me, but it was definitely flaking on my pants and I could see it. Um, and the crazy thing is, is that it was flaking all over. It wasn't just the side, the bottom part where, um, 
I used the cream it was also the top of it and this may be because maybe I used too much but I felt like I needed as much as I used maybe my hair wasn't wet enough but I kept on spraying it with water so I don't know what that was about but it definitely did have particles in the air and on me um the gel side did not so that is a plus the gel side did not flake not the bottom half that had cream and not the top so yeah So this is the defining gel side and I love the way it looked. I love the definition, um, the nice volume it had, the shine, all that. I will say um, as far as the moisture goes, the back half that had the moisture cream and the gel was so soft you guys. I loved how it felt and the top half without any cream, it wasn't like extremely dry and brittle but you could tell it definitely needed like something underneath but it still was nice now this is when i used the mousse def mousse and you can see that i got a lot more volume with the mousse um but unfortunately my hair was very very dry so now this clip is when i use the custard so I really liked how the curl custard made my curls look, the shine. Besides the flakes, the only other downside was the fact that the crunch lasted a few days before it finally went away on its own just from sleeping on my hair. And then once the crunch finally went away, it definitely felt just like the um, gel side. So the back half felt nice and soft. And then the front, you know, it felt like it needed some moisture, but it wasn't anything like horrible or dry and brittle. So this is when, right here, when I used the Honey Foam Mousse, and I really enjoyed the results. I just didn't like how some curls sprung up more than others, so the shape was kind of off, and plus it was drying. Now the results were pretty close, but if I had to choose a winner, it would be the Big Papa Gel. Just because the application was much better, it took less time to do the wash and go. Um, it still had nice curl definition, and plus it didn't flake. This is second day hair. I just wanted you guys to see what it was looking like. And the custard side definitely was starting to loosen up. And I don't know, the curls just look good on both sides. So I'm gonna show you what the hair looked like on day seven. Day seven hair definitely looked good still. I just needed to do a little bit of shaping, but overall both sides definitely held up. So I want you guys to comment down below, which of the gels do you prefer? And also which of the mousses do you prefer? And do you prefer a mousse over the gel? Let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video.